did it. I'm slow walking. Because we're tired. And full. And full. It's Taco Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday, yeah. <laughs> we went to this nice Mexican restaurant that we have. So, what'd you get today? We got cattle panels. And we also got a door on the shed. Yay. And we still have our stuff covered up because it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. We still gotta paint this here shed. But yeah, look at this. We got today from a local store here, 20 cattle panels, which is basically a mortgage. So it's almost a, a house payment. Yeah, pretty close to it. So yeah, we got 20 cattle panels. And it took you seven trips. Seven trips in the back of my little pickup truck. Three panels at a time. Luckily that place is that it was only what six minutes away? Six minutes so. away. So a lot better than most of the other stuff that we have to get from 30 minutes away. Our round trip. This is a 12 minute round trip. Mm -hmm. But these are going to be really good for us yeah, in our garden. Work. So we've got plans. So last year we did uh, the Florida weave for the tomatoes and peppers. And I think it worked well, but it was pretty labor intensive for us. It's it kind of tricky to do. Um, so we wanted to get the cattle panels for that, uh, just to have something that's a lasting trellis. Um, but this year we're going to do a lot of cattle panels here for peppers and then one two rows for tomatoes so that's six cattle cattle panels out of the 20 and we've got big plans for the other 14. Can't one two me. three four plots here i know that's not the right numbers for them but there's four plots here it's one two <laughs> three and four lots well, of debate over which which plot is which number no, that's 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 not a debate. That's what it is. <laughs> and what we want to do is um, eventually put a gazebo down in the center right here, and that'll probably be a this fall or next spring kind of plan. Um, but this summer, what we'll do, we'll go ahead and start doing arch trellis over this walkway, and then on the other side of the gazebo for that walkway. So. We're gonna use the cattle panels for all that because last year we didn't really have any um, good vertical growing space so it'll be nice to have that we at our old place that's pretty much all we had uh, for a lot of things was so the only way we did green beans or anything like that so it'll be nice to have that again these we basically moved them from 10 foot wide rows spacing to six feet wide and stopped here so we just added two feet to each bed yeah and so basically all we're going to do is add on the end a two foot row for planting mm -hmm. on each side and then on the inside of that row will be a arch and we will use that to grow vining things or uh you know pull beans and stuff like that so we still have some more rows to do but it is going to rain tomorrow all day and uh, it rained yesterday really heavily, and so we're just gonna just wait. We've got time. Give it some time to dry out before we do it again. Yeah, because this is where our spring vegetables are going to go anyway. Although potatoes are going to go here too, and they're they're right. in spring as well. But yeah, we've got three rows of garlic, and we think the crows have pulled up a bunch of those. So now that there's extra room in the garlic rows, I'm just going to put the onions in there too. And then we'll do a row for broccoli and cabbage, a row for like carrots, beets, radishes, all that good stuff, lettuce. Um, and then the rest is going to be all potatoes right there. So. Oh yeah, big potato year for us, hopefully. That's what we're going for. We did what, a, a row and a half last year of potatoes? We did a row and a half. Um, and we, I was actually looking at it this morning. We got 50 pounds out of that. <laughs> And it was probably, it should have been more. Yeah. 
Um, but we try to do the, the roost out method where you weren't really burying them. You were more filling them up with, uh, or topping them off with like hay, old hay bales and straw and stuff like that. So we're just going to do the traditional in-ground method, um, which should actually be the first time that we've ever done that. We've only, we've grown them, have we grown them in raised beds? I know we've grown them in the, the pots. We, we just grew them in pots. Yeah, so we've we grown them in them pots ones. and then we tried it the roost out method last year. So we're going to do in-ground this year. See how it compares. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we'll just hill them up a little bit and we'll still probably add some straw over the top of them. Yeah, we bought a, we got a whole dump truck load. I think it was like nine scoops of yeah. uh, mushroom compost. And so that's what everything was tarped up front. Um, we're doing, what did you say, like two and a half wheelbarrows full yeah. on each 42 foot row. So. Yeah, I'm trying to do the equivalent of what would be two or three inches yeah. per um, along the row. It's all approximate. Um, but, and then it just kind of lay it across the row and then till it in, same as I did last year. So, I mean, this is kind of what these plots looked like last year over here. Um, you know, it was all just a bunch of clumps, you know, throughout as we tilled it in, tilled in the matter. But... You know, given one year, you don't see any real clumps over here. It just looks a little bit darker brown. And so we figure three or four years of doing that, that's all that's going to happen. It's going to break yeah. everything down. Our goal isn't to make perfect soil from this old, ignored hay field in one year. It's to just make it a little better each year. So. Yep. And I think I think we had a lot of worries about the soil last year when we, we hadn't grown anything in it before. We didn't know what we were going to get, but I feel like we did great. Yeah. I don't feel like we had any issues with like seeing that there was a nutrient deficiency in anything. The only thing I think we noticed was like with tomatoes, there was a little bit of like blossom and rot. Um, yeah, but, but I, think that that water. Water. I think that was water. I think that was more water yeah. than anything than calcium deficiency. Yeah. Because we, if you don't water consistently, the water in tomatoes is what brings the calcium up to the plants. Mm -hmm. If you don't get water, no calcium goes to the plant. So even if it's in the soil, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So I think that was our big, big problem last year. Yeah. If any, if anything, it was almost like the opposite issue. Everything like just grew so much. I don't know. We'll see how this all works out in the end. Yeah, this is a big experiment for us. There's never a year where you've got it all figured out. There's always every year you're always trying something new, and there's always a variable whether it's what you're doing or what Mother Nature is doing or you know what's happening in your soil the pests that come along the diseases that come along so no one ever has it all figured out and if you view it as a journey right. and like you said an experiment it's just uh it works out for you so we had no idea what we were going to see last year mm -mm. but now going into it this year we know a ton more than we knew last year we know most of the pests that we're going to see we know when we're going to see them. We know the amounts of what we're going to see them based off of just what happened last year. You can just expect that you're going to have mostly the same, but you're also going to have some things that you didn't see last year. So you can prepare better for those things. We didn't realize we would have a summer with three rainfalls the entire <laughs> summer. We, I mean, our average rainfall in, a, in the month of July was five inches. We expected to get yeah. rain about an inch a week that's all you need yeah. we're totally fine and then it's and once and then six weeks later you get another right. one yeah and so what are we going to do this year we're going to make sure that everything has drip tape on it everything has water um and we consistently do that last year we weren't even sure if we were going to use drip tape i mean it was kind of a silly thing not to assume that yeah. in the beginning but we had already planted all of our spring vegetables with no drip tape and so then we were hand watering them and then we said all right well let's go back and put drip tape in well we're going to do all that stuff from the beginning weed fabric didn't use it really at all last year and it was a mistake yeah. um, for us because it is a lot of garden and we have to be able to maintain that and we are just two people so we don't want to uh you know be out here just you know picking weeds yeah. every day so Weed fabric is expensive. The things, it's either hard work or, or hard money that you're going to spend. And so we're going to cover basically everything in weed fabric. I mean, except for the things that we can't. And you can't cover everything in weed fabric. But 
that's going to just at least make the weeds manageable for us instead of it being four beds, you know, 8,000 square feet of an old hay field that hopefully will be a little bit better this year on grass, but yeah. I highly doubt it, honestly. I we, don't care. It doesn't matter. Yeah, There's going to be matter. weed fabric yeah, on it. That's true. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and I was against it last year. I was like, we don't need to do that. And now I'm like, cover everything. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to see any grass. <laughs> yeah, and we want it to be well manicured, right. you know, garden. Well manicured gardens just are easier to to uh, work with mm -hmm. overall. Uh, it's a lot of prep work. That's the problem with it is it's a ton of prep work where you don't have to do that. But I'd rather do the hard work in the spring when it's cool than the hard work in the summer when it's oh, yeah. hot. So that's another reason to, mm -hmm. you know, just plan ahead and think about all the things that you're going to be dealing with, you know, Amy's been really good about thinking of succession planting. So when this, you know, when these beans are done, what else is going to go there? Is it going to be more beans or are we going to do something else? You know, those sorts of things are the things we have to think about. So. Yep. It'll be a good year. Mm -hmm. and just stay healthy. This year, so last year my back went out. But this year I have a backup. Backup back. Back up back. <laughs> So if my back goes out, which it may conveniently do in the middle of June, Amy will be out here just doing all the work. Yeah, well, this is my new job, right? That's your new job. <laughs> Heck yeah. It'll be a good year. We're excited for it. And we're just trying to do a little bit each day and make progress as the weather allows. We've had a really nice week this week. Really good temperatures. Um, and so we've made lots of progress. And <laughs> We're just gonna continue that this this week now. So last week was nice, this week it's supposed to rain basically every day. It will, and then we've got some expanding to do this year, but we'll talk about that in another video. And so here's my shed door. It's got a built-in feature here. The door isn't 100% uh, uh, the jam here's a little bit uh, crooked. So it actually just kind of, it makes it where you can't lock yourself in. Right, or at least you're least less likely to, but you barely have to push it and it shuts. So it's a feature, not a bug. It was up to 50 mile per hour gusts last night, and it was coming down like it was last night or night before last. It was last night, last yep. night, and it was crazy. Yep, so we put everything on here that we didn't think would blow away on top of the compost. <laughs> so. Yeah, anything that had any weight to it right. was like, going to go the on top of the put compost. The this compost costs too much money. It worked though. The tarps didn't blow up. Yep. Nope. Nothing moved. Yep. Nothing moved. So, and this is how much we've actually just dug up into the wheelbarrow and you already used. Mm -hmm. So this was a pile. It's a lot of work. This grass right here is going to be super green. Right. And I'm about to mow it every day. This poor tree's been fooled. It thinks it's spring too. You can see all the blossoms here ready to go oh, there's one that's popped out yeah. thank you little guy yeah a bunch of them a bunch of them over here so that season's about to begin oh all right. boy ready to go in yeah i'm cold i'm cold too all right guys we'll see you guys on the other side bye, bye.